So Peter, why is PASH important to you? Well, PASH is really important to me because just using the same language, I've had a, a passion for most of my professional life of working with young people and particularly working around the area of sexual health because I think it's a topic that as a society and a culture we don't deal well with. And I know from my experience of more than 30 years of working with young people that young people are not given enough in information and education and skills around how to deal with difficult issues around sex and sexuality and relationships. So how does PASH benefit young people? Well, first of all, I think it creates a really safe environment and a fun environment that allows us to talk about this topic in a really open way. You know, it's, it's an awkward topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I work a lot with parents and teachers who still have difficulty raising the topic. Mm. But I find that young people, if they're given the kind of right environment, they're really you know, curious about it, interested to ask questions about it. And I guess the other thing is that, you know, young people are actively involved in this this um, program, you know. It's not just their passive res recipients like yourself, you know, yeah. you're getting involved in organising activities and the theatre group and all these kind of things. And I think you learn from each other. Yeah. And, you know, the, and the peer influence we know for young people is really important. So you've been doing Hot Topics lately. How's that been? Oh, look, it's going great, you know, like it's really very intense. Mm. Uh, the topic I'm doing is love and sex online, so I'm talking about uh, the effects of pornography yeah. and, you know, how it shapes certain attitudes and s certain behaviours. Mm. Um, and I'm finding that the young people are very responsive. It's a really, it is really a, literally a hot topic because, as we know, you know, pornography is pretty freely available today and anyone who's got a computer and access to the internet is going to have pretty easy access to that sort of stuff. So I think young people need to make informed decisions about it. All right, thank you.